40 years ago, there was a book written called Miami, the City of the Future. This meeting is meant to accomplish your goals, and the way we do that is through collaboration. I can't describe how it felt as a PhD, seeing the work that I had been working on for so many years and being used to treat a child. The growth of the Facilitate meeting over the years parallels the growth in this industry, the growth in the number of clinical trials, the growth in the number of companies. You know, I want to be a part of getting this FDA approval so more children can get treated and hopefully, you know, it'll get passed around the world. It's really an outstanding year. I think the number of attendees registered is over 1,600, which is a record for this event. And those companies and scientists that work with them have needed a forum to get together to exchange ideas to explore potential partnership. Emily was the uh, first patient, the very first, on this CAR-T trial in kids. These are patients who are unfortunately uh, destined to die of their disease and in a fairly short amount of time. We were told on more than one occasion that Emily was 48 hours away from kidney failure. But then a remarkable thing happened. What is happening now is a species-altering event, an unheard of convergence of technologies. And we're extremely proud this year to have more patient advocates, caregivers, and healthcare practitioners speaking than we've ever had. We really need a multidisciplinary group that can really help catapult the field of regenerative medicine. And our goal every day is for this, these treatments to become accessible for the patients that need them. We cannot predict what's going to happen in the next 15 years. We can only work and try to achieve great things together.